District under federal investigation for an alleged sexual assault. A girl who says she is the victim has been expelled from school. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live in Warren with much more. So, Kim, what have you managed to find out? I'm at the Warren Police Department and I read the police report put together by investigators here and it says that this teen girl, this 15 year old, went to her assistant principal and told her assistant principal that a classmate, a senior boy, forced himself on her in a car in the parking lot. Somehow then she ended up expelled. This is the letter sent to Warren Schools by the U.S. Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights. It says the district is accused of retaliating against a girl after she reported a sexual assault at Cousineau High School in May. School leaders say because of privacy rules, they can't comment on what happened, but say the school did nothing wrong. Are you confident that no one tried to brush anything under the rug, so to speak? I am confident that the, the district handled this one uh, correctly. The 15-year-old girl's mom tells 7 Action News that the district handled it by expelling her daughter for 180 days. Mom contacted the group Stop Sex Violence in Our Schools for help filing a complaint with the Department of Education. The nonprofit says it hears from far too many parents in the same situation. Parents don't know uh, where to turn. They've been stonewalled by the districts. They've been ignored and they're sort of at loose ends. They want their child's education to continue and it's been derailed by some uh, you know, tragedy like this. The student who reported was actually punished for simply asserting her rights. And in fact, I wouldn't say just simply, I think she was brave. We do provide a safe environment for our students. Any situations that may occur are investigated so that we can get the right information and correct information and, and proceed with appropriate consequences if necessary. Now, school leaders would not specify what policies were followed to determine that this girl be expelled for 180 days, but they did say that all policies that the school has were followed. In the meantime, the prosecutor did review the case and did not move forward with, ch with charges against this boy because there was not enough evidence that it was not consensual. He was expelled last year, but being a senior, he was able to move on with his life. Now, the U.S. Department of Education's investigation could get justice for this girl. Reporting live in Warren, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thanks so much.